tonight, and you know what that means. We are 48 hours removed from the first ever WrestleMania in Manchester. Tonight is the Raw after WrestleMania, a special post-WrestleMania treat for the WWE Universe. Sit back and relax because it's time for Monday Night Raw. Over 13,532 fans have sold out the PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina and some late breaking news. Tonight in your main event, Big Time Vex, Becky Lynch and the visionary Seth Rollins have challenged any two superstars from any promotion to face them in a mixed tag team main event tonight on Raw. Also some late breaking news. Naomi was not able to make it from Manchester to Raw tonight along with a few other Raw talents. And also at WrestleMania this past Saturday night, Naomi suffered a separated shoulder. Therefore, she has been stripped of the Raw Women's Championship. Therefore, Becky Lynch is your new Raw Women's Champion. Therefore, Sasha Banks, who is scheduled to get her title shot tonight, will no longer be getting a shot. However, coming up right now, the boss will be taking on a mystery opponent. Let's go down to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's boss time! And here comes the former Raw Women's Champion, multi-time Raw Women's Champion, multi-time SmackDown Women's Champion, and one half of the inaugural WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. She has done it all in WWE. Sasha Banks is now in the ring. She is about to prove why she is the boss of WWE we are now moments away of finding out her opponent what the hell oh my god she's back In seven years, Kristen Murphy is back in WWE. Last time we saw her, her and Patrick Murphy got their revenge on Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe several years ago in the main event of WrestleMania. Now she is back in a WWE ring and the WWE Universe is in shock. Oh man. All hell is guaranteed to break loose in this matchup. This is why the Raw after WrestleMania is always special. Wow, what a moment. And the WWE Universe is standing at in unison. And there's the bell. Kristen Murphy misses the clothesline. Both Sasha Banks and Kristen Murphy, their careers pretty much parallel each other. This is like a dream match right here. We are seeing live on Raw. Both women have held both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. Both women were NXT Women's Champion and both women have held the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships with different partners. And wait a minute, Kristen Murphy, vertical suplex. And wait, there's cover and not even a one count. Of course, the last time Kristen Murphy held the SmackDown Women's Championship, it was a near three-year reign. However, she ended up losing that championship without 
even being involved in the final match of the best of five series. She didn't even get pinned or submitted to lose that title. She lost the title under questionable BS politics. And there she goes for another cover. One, uh, not even, why did Krista Murphy let go of that cover? I know she's been out of the ring for almost seven years, but you don't do that with a veteran like Sasha Banks. And now Sasha Banks is waiting. She's got Krista Murphy by the waist. And wait a minute. She got her up. Bulldog by Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, of course, has had some memorable matches with the likes of Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and even Bayley. All four horsewomen have been close friends since their days of NXT. While they were in NXT, I should say. And now Krista Murphy comes back in the ring. Knife edge chop and a huge right by Kristen. Irish whip in the corner now. Wait a minute. Side kick to the head. And now a sliding German on the canvas. And now Kristen Murphy is showboating to the crowd. If Kristen Murphy isn't showing any ring rust, that is one hell of a moment for her after being gone for almost seven years. And now, wait a minute, XTO by Sasha. Both women are parallel to each other. Of course, it's going to come down to who can apply their submission hold first. Can Kristen Murphy apply the Scorpion Crosslock? Or can Sasha Banks get on the bank statement? Both women are technicians in the ring. However, when it comes down to submission wrestling, I think Kristen Murphy has the edge as Sasha with a relentless attack on Kristen Murphy's knee. We know at one time Kristen Murphy injured that knee thanks to an attack by Brooklyn Von Braun. And wait a minute. Shawbreaker by Kristen Murphy. And now wait a minute. This has to be one of her new finishers she's talked about. Sky up. Oh, man. She calls that the heartbreaker. Wow, what a move. And Sasha Banks retaliates with a clothesline. And now a kick to the midsection. Sasha Banks. There it is. There's the bankrupt. Wait a minute, here's a cover, one, and Kristen manages to kick out at one. However, Kristen Murphy's back has to be in a lot of pain right now, and I think that's going to make her vulnerable. There it is, backstabber, and I think she's got it. She's got the big statement, but Kristen was too close to the ropes. And now Sasha looking to go up top for a frog splash, but she misses, Kristen got out of the way. And now Kristen Murphy in control with repeated headbutts. Man, what a back and forth contest. What a match. And this crowd is on their feet for every second of it. And now Kristen Murphy. What the hell are these two doing up top? No way. Top rope Frankensteiner up the top. Man, we have never seen Kristen Murphy take to the air before. And now Kristen Murphy, she's got the legs. Now all she's got to do is get her over and grab the arms. And once she's got it, sh and wait a minute, and she's got it. She's got the scorpion cross like the pie. Nowhere for Sasha to go. And Sasha Banks has no choice but to give up, to tap out. Let's go to the ring announcer for the official word. Here is your winner, Wild Thing, Kristen Murphy. And for the first time in seven years, Kristen Murphy is victorious tonight, live on Monday Night Raw. What a moment this has got to be for her. We didn't even know she was in the building. And this crowd does not know what to think of what Krista Murphy has just done. She has defeated the boss. And now Sasha Banks is in the ring in disbelief, throwing a temper tantrum. And rightfully shows she thought she was going to get her title shot tonight. Oh, man, what? 
Oh, come on! Chris and Murphy extended the hand for a handshake as a show of sportsman shit, but Sasha is now nothing but a sore loser. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, our main event of the evening as Big Time Bex, Becky Lynch, and the visionary Seth Rollins have issued an open challenge to anyone from any promotion to meet them tonight in the main event in a mixed tag team match. Who will accept? Who will show up tonight on Monday Night Raw? We'll be back with our main event after this timeout on USA. Wow, the stinger. Timmy, I'm from the Dream Come True Fantasy Foundation. You ready to wrestle? You bet. Mom, Dad, it's really him. Hold on, hold on. Now I'm ready. <laughs> So real. Don't count on Sprite to do anything but quench your thirst. Budweiser presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today, we salute you, Mr. Pro Wrestling Wardrobe Designer. Mr. Pro Wrestling Wardrobe Designer. While lesser designers would shy away from putting 300-pound men in spandex, you embrace it. Yes, you do. Pushing fashion to its limits, literally, you pair tights with a cape, a leotard with a mask, leather boots with a thong. Oh, looking good. All understated ways of saying, I'm going to rip your head off and look fabulous doing Ripping it. Off heads. So this buds for you, Mr. Pro Wrestling Wardrobe Guy, because without you, a man crushing another man's head in his arms would just look silly. Mr. Pro Wrestling Wardrobe Designer. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw live from the PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the Raw after WrestleMania and moments ago, ladies and gentlemen, I, I am still in shock that this even happened for the first time in seven years. Kristen Murphy, as we get ready to go to the footage here, Kristen Murphy faced Sasha Banks in her first match in seven years. She shocked the world by making Sasha Banks tap out. But after the matchup, Sasha Banks was in disbelief that she lost to Kristen Murphy. Kristen Murphy extended the hand in show sportsmanship, however, uh, Sasha Banks just intentionally bumped into her, proving that she's no longer the boss. She is a sore loser. Kristen Murphy with the victory, and as a result, Coming up this Friday night, live on SmackDown, Kristen Murphy will challenge Lacey Evans for the Women's United States Championship. This is guaranteed to be one hell of a match, ladies and gentlemen. These two have met on SmackDown before. Kristen Murphy as of moments ago, has signed her contract to go to SmackDown. These two have had beef on social media, and it's going to be settled live on Fox this Friday night on SmackDown with the women's U.S. title on the line. However, coming up right now, it's our main event evening as Big Time Bex, Becky Lynch, and the visionary Seth Rollins take on a mystery tag team in a mixed tag team like main event. Well, folks, looks like there's been enough talk. It's time for the main event. And there she is, big time Bex is once again the Raw Women's Champion thanks to some questionable politics 
by Raw General Manager Mandy Rose, explo exploiting Naomi's injury. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. And rightfully so, big time Bex getting a mixed reception here in Raleigh, North Carolina. This crowd does not like the fact that she got handed back the title on a technicality. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the visionary. Are you ready for some Monday Night Rollins? And it looks as if the Monday Night Messiah is not too liked here in North Carolina and is hated even worse than his wife. And her partner from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. And for those who may think I'm berating both of them here in the broadcast booth, I'm not. There is no denying. Both Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins in ring ability, they both can get it done when it counts the most, when the lights are shining bright. But since the Elimination Chamber, Seth Rollins has stooped to new lows just to get onto the WrestleMania card this past Saturday night. And guess what? He wasn't even successful in his matchup. He ended up losing the match. However, he has a chance to redeem himself in this mixed tag team main event. Who will dare a pump? That's some awfully familiar. Oh, <laughs> that's an awfully familiar face. I should have known from moments ago. Package deal. Patrick Murphy is back in WWE on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. And the music he's coming out to, the way he's coming out, his entrance, he is obviously paying tribute to the late great Scott Hall. God bless his soul. It is amazing to see Patrick Murphy back in WWE. Wow, what a moment. Now, here's the big question. Who will be his partner? No way. Hardcore Country, the Impact Knockouts Champion Mickey James is back on Monday Night Raw. This is going to be an interesting pairing, Patrick Murphy and Mickey James. Mickey James, of course, also a former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion with Kristen Murphy. Mickey James has done it all in WWE and she is revered by the fans of sports entertainment and she is back to kick some bootay here on Raw. The crowd is on their feet. They are ready for this mixed tag team main event and Becky Lynch is not even waiting for the bell. She's got Mickey James. Oh my God, a reverse pump handle suplex. And now Becky Lynch is tagging in Seth Rollins. I haven't even heard the bell ring. Has this match even started yet? Wait a minute, Seth Rollins looking for the buckle bomb. Patrick Murphy realizes that that was the move that sent Sting into temporary retirement. And Patrick Murphy, with good ring awareness, managed to counter the move. There's the rolling elbow. Shades of Masato Tanaka. 
again with a rolling elbow. And now Patrick Murphy going to work on Seth Rollins. There's a drop kick. The referee has not even moved the muscle. He hasn't even called for the belt. What, what in the world is up with this referee? And now Patrick Murphy with the vertical suplex. And now he's going for the pin, but I haven't heard the bell ring. And Becky Lynch breaking up a non-existent pin. Tornado DDT by Mickey James. And now Patrick Murphy's got set. He just sent Seth Rollins in the referee. And finally we hear the bell. Man. I don't know what got into that ref. Either he woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning or he's from Canada. Either way, because of that miscommunication, Seth Rollins is able to take advantage of but he misses the knee drop and I think he landed on that surgically repaired knee he had not too long ago. I think it was back in 2015 that put him out of action for several months and now Patrick Murphy tags in Mickey James. Both Patrick and Mickey James in the ring. Oh my god. They are going to work on big time Bex in the visionary. There's the head kick. The spinning roundhouse. What the hell is this referee doing? Finally. Man, that could have been a free count right there. Somebody needs to get this ref some Mountain Dew kickstart or some coffee or something. Because he is just not in his element. And now Becky Lynch has got Mickey James now. And, oh, man. She sends her right into the turnbuckle and just throws her down. This is the most vicious I've seen Becky Lynch in a long time. And there's a reverse T-bone. Man, what action we have in this main event. And now Seth Rollins and Patrick Murphy are back in the ring. The rules are simple. The men face the men. The women face the women. Otherwise, it's a DQ if a man ends up hitting a woman. And, oh, <laughs> I'm not even going to repeat. That gesture right there. Now Patrick Murphy going up to the top rope. But Seth Rollins catches him. Seth Rollins, we mentioned, of course, since the Elimination Chamber has stooped to every low to get on the WrestleMania card. However, as we said, he ended up losing this match this past Saturday night at WrestleMania in Manchester. And now Patrick Murphy back in the ring. This is Patrick Murphy's first match in over seven years and how fitting he comes back in this mixed tag team match as that was the last match he wrestled at Wrestlemania seven years ago. Wow, this is what a hell of a night we've had here tonight on Raw. And now Seth Rollins tags in Becky Lynch, which means Mickey James has got to come back in the ring and Becky Lynch, I think, caught Mickey James. And now Becky Lynch. Oh, Cobra Clutch Backbreaker. And now Becky Lynch with her signature repeated leg drops. There's another one right on the throat of Mickey James. And now Becky Lynch, she's got Mickey James. Man, he and old slam. The cover. One, and Mickey James kicks out at one. You're not going to put a veteran like Mickey James down that easily. That's why she is the knockout champion. And Becky Lynch had the disarmor, but Mickey James too close to the ropes. And now Seth Rollins is tagged in, which means Patrick Murphy's got to come in the ring. There's a clothesline, followed by another one. Patrick Murphy on a roll here. He could be... There it is. There's the hat trick. And Patrick Murphy is on fire. However, that drop kick just sent Patrick Murphy in the corner. Seth Rollins, the veteran that he is, taking advantage of every situation. But Patrick Murphy is fighting back. He does not know when to say I quit. That is not in his vocabulary. And now Patrick Murphy, super kick. And that's going to lead to a German suplex. There's the Florida Keys. One, two, and Becky Lynch breaks up the pin. 
Man, what a match we are seeing here tonight on Raw. Irish Whip in the corner now. And now Patrick Murphy once again tags in Mickey James. Both Patrick and Mickey James showing great teamwork here. And now kicks to the midsection. Followed by another round of roundhouse kicks. And the crowd is on their feet. There's the kick. There's the cover. One. And Becky Lynch wisely kicks out at one. I see, there's the Mick kick. And now it looks as if Mickey James could be setting up for her DDT. She's got Becky Lynch. There it is. There's the DDT. One, two, and Seth Rollins distracts the referee to break up the pin. Man, had it not been for Seth Rollins, I think Mickey James would have had the win for her team. And now Becky Lynch sent Mickey James over to the top rope. And now the referee is going to exercise his 10 count. However, Becky Lynch just tagged in Seth Rollins, which means Patrick Murphy once again has got to come back in the ring. He is a house of fire now. Going back up to the top once again. Last time he tried it, it backfired. Right hand to set. There's the crossbody up the top. There's a cover. One. And Becky Lynch once again breaks up the pinfall. And there's nothing Patrick Murphy can do about it. He can't touch Becky. <laughs> I think I know what he's telling Michael Cole at ringside. And there, there's a snap suplex by Seth Rollins, followed by a standing moonsault. What athleticism by Seth Rollins. He is showing some intestinal fortitude here. There is a right elbow, a right forearm. And now he tags in Becky Lynch as Mickey James is forced to come back in the ring now. Irish whip back in the corner. And now Mickey James tags in Patrick Murphy. Double team maneuver once again. What are they going to do here? Patrick Murphy and Mickey James. Double suplex. Man, what teamwork. And Patrick Murphy is getting the WWE Universe fired up. He's got Seth Rollins. He's turning him over. He's got it. He's got the lion tamer locked in. Seth Rollins with nowhere to go. Seth Rollins may either have to tap or try to reach for the ropes. Although Seth Rollins is just sitting there. What is he going to do here? Referee checking. He could be sending the hands down to the canvas at any moment. S Seth Rollins, how can he withstand the pain? And Patrick Murphy realizing Seth Rollins isn't going to tap out. Wisely lets go of the hold. Right hand. And Seth Rollins now did not like those remarks. There's the Falcon Arrow. Man, Seth Rollins is on a roll here. He's got Patrick Murphy up. Oh, what a reverse powerbomb. Seth Rollins has to redeem himself tonight to make himself a credible contender for the WWE Championship. Irish Whip in the ropes, followed by the kitchen sink, and knees right in the midsection once again. And there's the Russian leg sweep. And now Seth Rollins tags in Becky Lynch once again, which means Becky James has got to come back in the ring. There's a drop kick. And now Mickey James. She's got Becky Lynch again. Tornado DDT. The cover. One, two, and Seth Rollins once again breaks up the pin. Smart maneuver to save the match. And Mickey James has had it up. She sends Seth Rollins down to the outside with a drop kick. Mickey James on several occasions has had this match won multiple right hands and now Becky Lynch sends Becky uh Mickey James in the corner excuse me right forearm by the man and now stumps followed by some more stumps in the midsection Becky Lynch has had enough she is pissed and with that stump to the arm you know sooner or later 
Becky Lynch is going to go back to that, disarm her. There's the DDT and right on the arm too. Tag once again. Patrick Murphy's got to come back in the ring. Man, these four are just laying it all on the line here in the main event. Super kick! And now Seth Rollins has got a lifeless Patrick Murphy. What is he going to do here? He stomps him over. Wait a minute. He's going for it. There's the stop. There's the stop. The match should be over. One, two. Patrick Murphy somehow kicks out. Oh my God, what resiliency, but Rollins isn't done. Pedigree, pedigree. Seth Rollins, he's not done just yet. He's going up to the top. Wait, inverted Phoenix splash, but Seth Rollins clearly missed his target. He's going for the stop once again. Wait a minute, diamond cutter. And this crowd and Raleigh has come unglued. Collar and elbow tie up by her swift knee to the face, followed by a bulldog. Man, Patrick Murphy is definitely not showing any ring rust here. He has proven that he still got it. Wait a minute, he's calling for it. We know what this move is. Outsider's Edge, the Razor's Edge, whatever you want to call it, one, two, and Becky Lynch once again breaks up the pin. Man, just back and forth action in this mixed tag team match. Oh my god, what power by Patrick Murphy. Vertical suplex, man, what incredible power by the former WWE champion. Collar and elbow tie up and now an Irish whip back in the corner. Patrick Murphy tags in Mickey James once again. Mickey James, of course, was released over a year ago as part of the mass releases WWE made due to budget cuts. There's a combination DDT by both superstars. And now, wait a minute, Mickey James is going for the pin here. And not even a one count. Seth Rollins is doing everything he can to save the matchup for him and his wife. And there's a slap by Becky Lynch, and Becky Lynch has had enough. She's going to work now on Mickey James. Oh, man, what a side mafia kick that sends Mickey James to the outside. And now Mickey J uh, Becky Lynch going for a butterfly. Oh, 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 oh man. Mickey James almost landed on the apron right there. That's pure athleticism, ladies and gentlemen. Big time Bex in control now. Kick to the midsection. And once again, the manhandle slam. The cover. One. And Patrick Murphy gets a drop kick for his troubles as he broke up the pin. And now Becky Lynch. Is going for oh she was looking for the disarmer. Mickey James counters with a forearm right there. And Becky Lynch doing everything she can to keep her team alive in this match. Sidekick by Becky Lynch. I think that was a single leg drop kick right there. Oh Mick kick out of nowhere! And now Mickey James, she could be moments away. From setting up that DDT once again. She's got it. DDT by the Knockouts Champion. The cover. But Becky Lynch is too close to the ropes. Becky Lynch is a veteran herself. She has great ring awareness. She lost the Women's Championship initially this past Saturday night at WrestleMania, but due to some politics, as we noted, she was handed the title back. Super kick! Patrick Murphy, could he be looking for another outsider's edge? He said he's now gonna be using it as his finishing move to pay tribute to the bad guy. He caught Seth Rollins. He's got Seth Rollins' leg. Single leg Boston Crab right here, or as Lance Storm calls it, the Canadian Maple Leaf, and it is all over. 
Seth Rollins had no choice but to tap. Patrick Murphy, for the first time in seven years, is victorious on Raw, along with Mickey James as we take a look at some of the replays here. This is one of the best mixed tag team matches I have seen in a long time. And there you see right here, Becky Lynch with the manhandle slam. The Florida Keys right here. All four superstars gave it their all. But in the end, it was Patrick Murphy and Mickey James, the Knockouts champion, who are victorious in this main event, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go down to the ring announcer for the official word. Patrick Murphy and Mickey James are victorious in the main event. Patrick Murphy returns to WWE for the first time in seven years. A quick reminder, Kristen Murphy will challenge Lacey Evans for the women's US title this Friday night. Patrick Murphy is back and we are desperately out of time. Good night from Raleigh.